and then to the uh, all of those uh, 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 to the social stuff, right? Uh, and then and then uh, the rest of the navigation is a little bit up in the air until we figure out how the uh, those knowledge base uh, landing pages are going to work. Uh, however, uh, the, the thought there is that we could have six navigation elements. Uh, so it would be, so it'd be about, and then kind of that, that news and social, and then event, and then we would have three pages that would go to, uh, knowledge base landing pages, uh, that follow the, uh, the roadmap of the, uh, uh, slider. You have a so, visual of this, Kevin. It's a little hard to follow, just narratively. So I wireframed it, but I wireframed it on a on a uh, on a whiteboard and took pictures of it. And uh, the pictures aren't the best. So I do have a I do have some uh, uh, some pictures of it that I've shared with uh, 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 Bellama. However, uh, I don't think I have a. I don't have a picture that I think is great for sharing uh, kind of with, with everyone. I think I need to go back and kind of uh, draw that out better. Okay, that might be helpful. So. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, so I think Django is here. So um, I think we're moving to the slide out part. Um, hi, Django. Um, Hello, have, like some questions about um, more context on sliders, and um, yeah, so I'll let Django ask questions, direct questions. Certainly. Um, so, pardon me a second. I just had to restart my computer, um, so I can get to my notes. Okay, no problem. Okay, so. It looks like you're looking for um, <laughs> let me rephrase that. Uh, Kevin, when you are talking about these like three to four images, is this like curation of images from our like from a collection of like stock images that we have here or like creation of illustrations? Both. Both? Okay. Yeah, so I, so uh, on that main page, we want to have three three images for that slider, and each of each of those images is going to correspond with a kind of a a navigation element that uh, uh, I kind of have outlined in that document, right? So mm -hmm. what uh, I think what we'd like is is kind of three to four proposed images for each for each kind of slider uh, capture. Right. They can be they can be pictures that come from our our archives, uh, or or they may or they may be pictures that we need to uh, that we need to create, uh, or uh, rather than pictures, maybe uh, designs of some sort that we need to to create. Fantastic. Um, so, do you have a, a link to an archive of images that we have? Um, I think there's a link in the chaos design document, right? Great. Uh, we have the vi I see the visual identity uh, handbook. I'm sorry. I see the visual identity handbook here um, in the design document. Yeah. Let's... Oh yeah, yeah. Down down lower. Uh, Great. Which is just really it's it's down to like the Pantone color that th that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and is there, yes, okay, great, photo murals. The photo mural up the dock, so it's here. Great, thank you so much. And are each of these, when you say slider navigation, are slide one, slide two, slide three, all part of the same slider? And these are just three to four images to select for each one, or is this three different sliders? 
I don't understand that question. <laughs> no worries. Um, it looks like when you've got slider navigation that you're looking for three to four images to curate from to grab one for each slide. Is that correct? Oh yeah, just one image for each slide. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, so three image three images total is what we're looking for. Uh, but we we just like some that we could uh, kind of uh, pick from, right? Right. Great. And um, any images that I'm or in any areas where I'm unsatisfied in the images that we have, I'll just write up maybe a, a short little proposal for like what an image I feel would sum up this particular slide the best. Um, and then we can talk about illustrations. Yeah, yeah, that would be, yeah, that'd be awesome. Perfect. I have no further questions. Okay, um, so I, I think that's uh, most of what we have um, for like the website um, redesign parts. Um, then for, I think we have like one update for, I think Jaria is also here too, so it's great. Um, for the um, Chaos um, logos for like um, Chaos Asia and Chaos Africa, we have like from Maxwell. I want to take away. I want to. I think I, let me show that quickly. Um, I think someone is mute or, mute or something. Yeah, so um, yeah, we do have like, I think everyone can also access this link um, for the Chaos Africa um, logo. So uh, Maxwell had made up like different, four different, um, for different variants that we could pick from. Um, and this is for Chaos Isha as well. Um, same same uh, concept with Africa. So, yeah. These are great. <laughs> yeah, I, I love those. Those are, those are really cool. This is guy pick up beef. They also look like they fully comply with our branding standards with the colors and the logo as well. Yeah, yeah. I, so. I love, I like the, can you, who's, I don't know whose screen we're looking at. Can you scroll up a little bit? Is this your yeah, screen? Sure. Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> um, I like the, I like the ones where the chaos, I like the upper right corner and the lower left corner. Um, so upper. Left, so upper right is this, yeah, yeah. This is what I like to. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's just my preference, but others might have other preference. And then it would be the same set for chaos Asia Pacific. Um, yeah, Jaya, do you I see you not doing so great yeah. back. Um let me look at well, first of first of all, I think the idea is amazing. And um if I had to pick one I think you can pick two. Um, yeah, like yeah, I'm not sure. I I, I prefer the left side. Uh, the two on the left or uh, left the this set one. of um uh, yeah yeah uh and the upper one this two like i yeah i like how uh chaos asia is embedded in the map okay yep. okay um thank you Jaya. i dare like any other thoughts Um, that's all, except I really like the idea of this logo. I think for the for the Chaos Africa one, my favorite one is the third one. This one. Yeah, and then with uh, I'm along with, with Matt, I, I agree that the the second one would probably be my my second choice. Yeah. But the that third one I I think is my favorite for Chaos Africa. 
Uh, for the for the Asia ones, uh, is there is there any reason that that first one doesn't have uh, kind of Saudi Arabia and the Middle East in it? Yeah, I think Maxwell, this is your question. I I see India and. <clears throat> I'm just I'm wondering what the uh, what the uh, uh, how come the first one doesn't have it and the others don't uh, like is the region is the region supposed to be is it supposed to be inclusive of the entire area or or, it, or is it appropriate to leave Saudi Arabia off I the, guess tech, the, question. The, the tech I think the text is just like letting go of that side of the diagram in each case. Yeah, I don't think it was a thought like that. I think oh, okay. I don't think there were there were no attempts to alter national boundaries in any way. Because I was I was kind of wondering what the uh, what that third one would look like if we if we removed if we actually if it looked like the the first one. Because right, it kind of it. Uh, that that full area it's a, it, it encompasses a, a really large area uh and i'm not yeah. sure is is saudi arabia considered part of, of asia yes it is okay okay um i think maxwell is maxwell on the call maybe i did have some questions about that as well like well i think what maxwell explained initially was the the text was interrupting, so maybe we could find the way around that as well. If the text wasn't interrupted, I might like that first one best, actually, for Chaos to Asia. Yeah. Okay, I think I think um, we could work around that as well. Um, Okay, so um, I think this is for the logo part. So the other things are with, um, we have Django here. So subsequent in other meetings would, um, you know, we visit the slider and then the, I think the dotted field is the other one. Um, this, oh, sorry. The issue with so many tabs. Um, I was going back to the document. <laughs> okay, so the one for yeah, this. So this is the next thing. Would you know in subsequent meetings would we visit the dotted lines? I think. So I think that's all for. Uh, if Matt has anything to add, <laughs> but yeah. That's... No, that was it. It's just kind of updating that. You're right. There's the temp the template. Okay, great. So, um, yeah, we'll keep updating in subsequent meetings. Uh, so I, I had also put in the chat that, you know, those logos that you showed for Chaos Asia and Chaos Africa. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's possible that we just have all four of them. It's not like we have to pick one because it's, mm -hmm. um, we do have like, we have, um, even for chaos, we have the logo that you see there. We have the all white logo. We have the all black logo. So, I mean, there just might be different contexts where we want different logos. So, yeah. I mean, to me, I think it might be okay just to have all four. <laughs> and yeah, the we might have, right. yeah, and we just pick one for the website. But then if you're doing a PowerPoint presentation or you're up some sort of presentation or you're doing something. Bye. Twitter, you just pick one that you like. The bottom right makes a better t-shirt, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, so stu right, stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, you, you can kind of use any of them. So that's the other option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I thought about that. I was just really considerate if it like kind of is against logo rules. <laughs> to no, like I mean, for the chaos, like I said, for the chaos one, we have three different ones, no image on the back, but I mean, and I can I can double check with folks at the Linux Foundation just to make sure it's all okay, but I can't imagine, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, my suggestion is we actually just keep all four now that I think about it. And yeah. folks, folks can use what they'd like. <laughs> They both clear. They both. They all clearly indicate Chaos Africa. It's not like you can miss that on any of the logo. No. And they, and they follow all of our guidelines, so why not use all four? And I'm I suspect the one that's favored will emerge over time. Yeah. Very true. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, so I I think that's all for the design things. Maybe we have that stuff on the agenda okay I, I think one thing i would want to do i was waiting for django to come in maybe we would have a meeting with yash to kind of i don't know how the i was going to ask how the knowledge base if we need some info for the knowledge base um as we move on with designing the sliders and i know yash has a lot of that information so I was going to ask Kevin, do we need some information about what the knowledge base is for Django? So Django has some context to, because there's no documentation right now on the knowledge base. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, the knowledge base, I think I can get you a prototype that's already in there. Okay. I, I will coordinate that on Slack. Yeah, I just added it in the chat box. Uh, so mm -hmm. this is this is probably the proposed homepage. We are sort of in the middle of developing it. And yeah, just don't go on the color or the font. Uh, the basic yeah. structure is uh, what I want everyone to focus at. And basically the getting started page, uh, getting started section contains the quick start guide and the uh, contribution info that uh, I pulled from the community handbook. And other than that, yeah, it's pretty simple knowledge. Base. Okay, great. I think this call is being recorded. So Django, if Django has any questions about the knowledge base, um, Django can reach out to you, Yash. Yeah, sure. Uh, do you need my email, Slack? Or yeah, you can always reach out on Slack. Yeah, Slack is great. Yeah, yeah. that works. Yeah. All right, I think that's all for me. Stop here. Pass it back to Kevin. Kevin, you're, you're muted. You're muted, Kevin. Okay. Uh, was there, I think Matt left. Uh, okay. So, uh, is there anything else that the design team needs to discuss? No, nothing else. We're good. Okay. Then, uh, I suppose we can, we can move the rest of this time to, uh, to talk about the knowledge base, if that's okay with everyone. Uh, design team, you're, you're welcome to, uh, you're welcome to drop off if you want to, unless uh, uh, unless you're interested in, in, in hanging out. You're more than welcome to hang out as well. Uh, Yash, did you want to did you want to talk about uh, yeah. uh, what your updates and what you're working on? Yep. So basically, uh, like. Uh, truth showed this is what I have been working on. I sort of started with the getting started section and yeah, I'm just exploring different UI options that uh, Minerva provides. And it shows that uh, like it has a way of dividing each category into subcategories. So I sort of really like this UI. I don't know if you all have any other thoughts on that. Yeah. So this is for the knowledge base part of the website, or is this like the main website landing page that we're seeing here? So this, this is this sorry. would be this would be for a for a knowledge base page. Uh, okay. The, 
currently, currently what we're proposing is we have three different knowledge based landing pages. Uh, and right. each, each of those three knowledge based landing pages uh, from a navigation standpoint is going to be connected to one of the sliders, right? Okay. So the, and I'm not certain what the order would be, but one of the knowledge bases is going to focus on new contributors and how to right. contribute. Uh, and it's going to be pulling information from the handbook uh, related to uh, kind of welcoming new new contributors and getting them started as fast as possible. Uh, a second knowledge base landing page will focus on presenting metrics and models. Uh, and then a third uh, knowledge base landing page is going to focus on uh, information about chaos that would be uh, valuable to someone who is coming to figure out what chaos is and to figure out how we work. Okay. Right. So it would be a, that page would be a little bit different than the about page because the about page is more kind of about the, the history and a little bit uh, a little bit about kind of the community and the people. Uh, the page that I was just describing, that third knowledge base page, is is more going to be about how we work. So it would include that page would also probably have our calendar in it and kind of descriptions of the working groups, right? Yep. So it, it becomes a sort of participate page that also links to the community handbook. Okay, I get it. All right. So so three knowledge base landing pages is what we're proposing. Uh, Yash is working on the knowledge base portion of those pages. However, each of these pages will probably also have uh, at least one to two modules that are kind of presenting some high level information. Yep. Uh, and right now he's experimenting with the, uh, as, as, he, as he had mentioned, he's kind of experimenting with some different looks and starting to incorporate some of the, uh, the pages that we have access to. Uh, so we're we're at a little bit of a uh, with the community handbook. We're we're kind of we're waiting a little bit for the for some work to be done uh, on the the community handbook side, uh, or at, for, at the very least for the uh, kind of the the navigation to kind of or the the folder structure to kind of stabilize a little bit. And then on the uh, the metrics and model side, we were actually waiting until we had. Uh, uh, sorted out the uh, content areas and tagging issue, right? Do you, do you think we've sorted it out? Yes. Yep. Okay. Actually, I do think we've sorted that out. So, the, so the next step for we we can actually from where we're at right now, we can actually build the metrics and models knowledge base. Uh, so I was gonna when I was talking to you yesterday, I was actually gonna propose that we move forward with that. Uh, okay. So, uh. What we need to do there is uh, basically sort all of the uh, existing metrics into content areas to begin with, uh, and then we need to go through and put in pull requests to add the the content areas to the documents and add the uh, and, and add tagging to the documents. Once that's done, we can go ahead and, and populate the knowledge base. Uh, so uh, a lot of that is on uh, me to do. Uh, I volunteered to do that, and uh, Matt, who is not here now, actually volunteered to help with that. Um, so uh, by the time you come back from your, uh, well, it's, not, it's not a vacation, Yash, it's a, I know you have important, important school stuff that you have to do. Uh, yeah. By the time you come back from that, uh, we should be ready to completely populate the, uh, the metric model portion of the knowledge base. Sure. Uh, and then, yeah, so that's, that's the kind of the update on my end. Uh, and I, I hope that answered some questions as well. Uh, we do still need to, we do still need to, for the other two knowledge base landing pages, uh, and implementations, we need to have a little bit more coordination with the community handbook folks. Uh, so. Uh, I probably need to figure out when they're meeting. 
I know they sometimes come to this meeting. Uh, yeah, we're but. here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I, I think the update from us is we have currently worked on like the structure. Um, if you check the community handbook, we have arranged kind of arranged the structure and what we are doing right now is kind of updating like the different um, structures that we have put in. So that's what we are doing now about structure we've updated it on the community handbook so um, i think we would um Shreya and i will kind of like connect with you about the community handbook knowledge base page and give you like more info there so from uh so i've mentioned we're using so we're using uh uh context areas slash topic areas and tagging for the metrics in the models and we, we'd, uh, we're, we're wanting to uh, use something similar for the, uh, the community handbook information, right? So the, from a kind of from a community handbook structure standpoint, it would make sense for us to use the, the topic areas based on your folder structure. Mm -hmm. so, the, so the folders that you create in your community handbook would be the topic areas that we would implement in the uh, uh, in the knowledge base on the website, so we kind of we kind of need to coordinate with that and make sure that those the the folder structure and those high level topic areas are 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 what we what we want and that they're named named appropriately. Does that make sense? Yeah, those, we should have like we have should we give you like a list of tags or do you have something we could follow through with? I'm sorry. Should we give like should we give you a list of tags or do you have something we could follow through with? Like we've not created tags yet according to the structure. Yeah, so tag tagging is going to be uh very very dependent upon the document itself. Uh mm -hmm. so we will we would never have a list of tags uh for you. It would be the the guidance on creating keywords would be uh anywhere uh two to six keywords and they should be really obvious keywords that would uh help that page be discoverable okay right so the but there is no there is no ongoing list of of keywords slash tags uh because they're going to be they're going to be very specific to the documents that you're creating okay got uh, that yeah. so and then the the uh the, the topic areas are are different than the tags, right? So the topic areas are the would be the, the names of the folders that you're using currently in the in the structure. In, yeah. Yeah. So that's the the topic areas are that high level organization. And then the tagging is gonna is gonna help us kind of search and organize those the documents further. Okay. Um, I, th I think um, we'll cycle back with you with that when we have that um, those tags maybe on yeah. Slack or maybe in the next meeting. Yeah, and I'm I'm happy to I'm happy to help uh, populate uh, tags in these documents if you if you'd like me to as well. And I'm happy to have discussions about the uh, the folder structure too. Yeah, let uh, me drop a link to the um, to the handbook document we writing to track everything okay um joya can you get the link I don't know what yeah. um okay i'm i'm searching for the link okay i get it now okay yeah we have to drop the link karen Yeah, I did some suggestions earlier, which we also saw then. Yeah, um, listen to the conversation before. I, I'm now getting a little bit confused um, from the topics area, folks area, and I know there is an also context area for metrics models. So the uh, for our for our purposes, all of those are the same thing. 
and we're just going to call them, uh, uh, what are we gonna call them? Uh, context areas? I think we're just gonna call them context areas. Or uh, on, the, on, the, on the website, they'll probably be referred to as topic areas, uh, but they're really, they're really all the same thing. It's just a, a high level organization. Uh, so okay. uh, don't uh, don't worry about focus areas. Focus areas are a working group, uh, uh, a working group thing. So the, the working groups use focus areas to help build the metrics. Uh, we are not using focus areas. Uh, so we're we're using something called topic areas, and the topic area is just that that high level bucket that we can put the different uh, documents into. Okay. Uh, so for the for the community handbook, the the topic areas are going to align directly with your folder structure in GitHub, right? So each each folder would be a topic area, and then uh, those documents that are in inside that folder would be presented as those topics. If that makes sense. Yeah. That's clear. Okay. Okay. So Kevin, I wanted to discuss another thing with the knowledge base that oh, I am guessing that uh, we should sort of uh, right now focus on building the content. And at the same time, do you want to figure out the search or do you want to leave it for the last? Uh, I think we can, I think we can leave that for last. Uh, so okay. I think you, the proposal that you had at the, uh, at the beginning of the, uh, uh, meeting, uh, mm -hmm. could resolve it. Uh, the, there, there may be other ways to resolve it as well. However, the, uh, the, a full text search of these documents is, is kind of, it's a nice to have. I don't think it's a must have. Uh, yeah. because we're, we're creating, we're creating search through, through tags and, uh, uh, metric names, right. Or model names or, yeah. or, or topic. Areas. I mean, we are, yeah. are already building a sort of search option. Yeah. So if we just want to go in for a full page search, we can just sort of add it in the last week or something like that. Yeah, and I'm I'm not I'm not completely sure we would need we we need that full page text search. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's a nice to have. I think we, we do it if we can we do it if we can. Uh, we're a little bit at the mercy of the technology that we're using and the way that we're using that technology. Uh, so, but we I think we 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 try to implement it at the end if we can. Uh, but if uh, if it doesn't work out, I'm I'm going to be okay with it because I think the uh, a search based on the the topic areas and tags is going to be more relevant for users anyway. Okay. Uh, so I would say the right now I think we can focus on building uh, building the metrics uh, slash models knowledge base on our end. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you can if you can focus on that on your side, I will start looking at the uh, the metrics and uh, figuring out how we can sort them. Okay. Yeah, let's sort of keep it as the next milestone for the knowledge base. Okay. okay. Uh, Anything else anyone wants to talk about today or? No, I don't have any. Okay, good luck on your, is it exams, Yash? Yeah, these are sort of oh, on campus. Like these are sort of like placements that happen, but yeah. Okay. Well, well, good luck, good luck on your exams and, uh, let me know when your uh, your schedule frees up a little bit, and we can uh, we can uh, set up a meeting to chat. Okay, sure. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye, everybody. See y'all later. Thank you.